So I've been searching for like an hour now for a powerlifting meet in Rhode Island or the Rhode Island area, aka Connecticut or Massachusetts at the furthest, for this fall. So anytime after September 20th and before the end of December, obviously. So just this fall, within 2014, I want to do a powerlifting meet. Cannot find them. So if any of you guys, I went on powerliftingwatch.com and all that and Maybe I'm just too tired and shouldn't be trying to use the internet right now. I don't know. I'm having no luck finding anything, though. In bodybuilding, at least I knew what federations to search for and stuff. I see all these different federations of powerlifting. I don't even know which one is what, so I'm like a lost puppy. If any of you guys want to help me out, you can find a drug-tested raw meat that is Rhode Island, Connecticut, or Massachusetts. Please feel free to link it in the comments below. 110% want to do a meet before 2014 ends. The beautiful, lovely, lavish Princess Ariana Reardon and I just finished eating breakfast at T's restaurant or T's diner. It's a really nice place. It's a little, it's not fancy, but it's nice. And we went in there with gym clothes, so we're definitely a little bit underdressed, but who cares? If you're not underdressed, you're not living. And then we're going to walk right down the parking lot over to the gym yonder. So romantic breakfast date followed by the gym without even having to get in the car. So I've not gotten good sleep in the last like three days at all. I pulled like an all-nighter the night before, yesterday. So I took melatonin <clears throat> last night. Tried going to bed early. Can't sleep. So what me and my girlfriend think it is, is my anxiety being risen up right now. Because <clears throat> I'm in the process of moving. Outwardly I feel fine. I'm not really stressed about moving. I don't have much to pack up. The house is all set. But I guess movement's always a stressful thing. So maybe in the back of my mind, just because I'm thinking about it, it's arising, it's like arousing my anxiety. And that's made me stop from getting a good night's sleep. But either way, after three nights of this, I don't feel like myself at all. I've taken pre-workout and caffeine and I don't feel anything from it. <laughs> Out of it. Ta-da! Is bench press day number one of week four in Johnny Candido's program. So Basically, that means we're entering the fourth week. We're getting into the heavy weight, the low reps. But because it is only the first of two bench press days this week, it is the lighter of the days. And I decided to take advantage of the lighter weight and see if I could do it using pause reps to really work on my pause rep bench press. Now, I'm not doing a full, long, rested pause. It's a quick pause. It's just enough to ensure that I have control of the bar at the bottom of the rep and that I'm not bouncing it off my chest or using momentum. So it's really just practicing for that quick competition pause that I'll need when I do a meet so the ref can tell me to lift. So the first set was three reps of 295. This second set right here, three reps of 305. And we're wrapping it up with 310 pounds. I'm dancing to wake my ass up. Tip. Towing in my Jordans. And I got the first two reps pretty nicely. The third rep I did not lock out on simply because I'm just not that good with pause reps yet. I haven't practiced them for very long, so I'm going to keep practicing them. And again, these numbers are actually based off of my tap and go bench press. These are not based off of my pause rep bench press. But I have a game plan. I'm going to begin segueing back into tap and go for the last couple of weeks here just so I can hit that 365 tap and go PR for my own happiness and then diet down to 180 and practice all pause reps for competition. <laughs> All right, let's go. Deadlifts. Pick it up right now. So give me, give me something clean. I'm gonna auto regulate now. Give me at least three clean. Don't be a bitch. If you can give me four or five, you got it. Easy shit. Bad bitch.
Good. That was clean. Lock out. Good. Fucking easy. Stop at four. Good. So you could have kept going, but we want to make sure it's real clean. Practice technique. Yes. So I'm going to call it. We're going to do six sets of four reps. Oh, you be murdered. Yeah. It's going to be rough. Be rough. A little bit of volume. Look at that. That's, that's 175, ladies and gentlemen. It's 175. And she weighs like 80 pounds. She's a peanut. All right. Ready? Work, 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 work. And per usual, we follow it up with some back exercises. I'm really trying to target my back hard when I get the chance to, since there's not as much back training as there was when I was bodybuilding. So I'm really emphasizing that squeeze at the top of every single rep and trying to throw a little bit extra in there. So four sets, eight reps. Huh? It was seven. Was it those eight? I think it was seven. <laughs> You're stupid. Stupidly sexy. Uh, yeah. So you know how I kind of fizzed out on the lockout portion of that very last rep on the bench? Yeah, well, this is going to help to strengthen that portion of the lockout up. So as you see, we can only lower our arms down to where the elbow hits the floor, leaving the bar about halfway mid-rep. Right about where I gassed out on that last rep. So we're training the lockout portion with some floor presses. All right, sixth set. I want it as clear as the first set. You got it, baby. Four easy. Bullshit, wait, let's go. Get cocky with it. There you go. Nice, right up. Right down. One more. Nice. Beautiful. Ending the workout with some shoulder strength to help overall bench pressing. Using 165, which is 80% of my one rep max on the shoulder pressing, two sets of six reps. Although I miscounted because I can't count and I only got five on the first rep. <laughs> my bad. I redeemed it though. Ready? I'm ready. One, two, Three, four, five, one more, come on. Good, six. Good job. The glory hole is gone. I still have a couple more layers and a little more sanding to do, but it's on its way out and on its way to invisibility. Using a little $12, uh, Lowe's wall patch because <laughs> we are officially moving out of here look at this this is tremendously sad Nick's room is empty and he's gone he just loaded up the truck today and dipped and tomorrow I follow suit so today is Tuesday he moved out today moving up to Providence capital city of Rhode Island I move all my stuff out tomorrow and I officially move into the new house Thursday so we're splitting ways He's still my brother, though. Look at it. He left me, though. I let him take the casting couch because he babysat his friend's cat. And his freaking cat started tearing it up. So I was like, ah. So I was buying a new couch. But he did leave me all of the artwork. <laughs> These cheap $1 Japanese symbol things. These are actually very expensive paintings. I'm surprised he left me these. Left me all the lamps. I love lamp. Pretty nice coffee table. He left me the kitchen table. Believe it or not, this thing looks like it's very basic and cheap, but uh, it's actually like a $124 table. And pretty much a lot of the appliances. So, this is quite sad, guys. This is my last time. Last week in this house. Last time seeing videos from this poverty apartment. So sad. 
crazy, man. Crazy. When I first moved in here, I had around 60,000 subscribers, I believe, last year. Now I have about 130,000, so we've more than doubled our following. Pretty dope. We, we doubled our family. We expanded. Look at this. Ready? <laughs> Watch this. Oh, no. That's smashed. I was going to shoot. That doesn't even turn on anymore, I bet. I headbutted this thing for fun because it was already broken. So that's done. Then I want to see something really sad, though. Look at this TV. This is my TV. I only had it for like six months. Let's wait. Oh, screen's busted. Impact right there. I don't know what hit it. This wasn't Nick. This, we found this broken like this a while ago. It could have been anything. It could have been moving that big tube around. Anything could have fallen into it. So sad. I'll have to get a new TV or something. <laughs> these never got hung up. They're from the past anyway. No point in hanging them. Let's look at these. Really? Ready? A little blast from the past here, guys. Cover of World Physique Magazine. First natural teen in a magazine cover. That was pretty sick. Got into the local news. Got into the biggest sports journal in the area, Providence Journal. It's basically like the New York Times of Rhode Island, if you will. Uh, my spread inside of my cover magazine, which is pretty dope. Fitness and physique. I made it in my competition picture. Made it in right now. Flex Magazine! That was pretty cool because, you know, natural kids getting in flex doesn't happen every day. It was just a little small feature, but it's pretty sick. The right moves. A the right moves in Flex Magazine. That was pretty cool. Natural bodybuilding fitness. There I am. And World Physique. My first time in World Physique Magazine. Got my own little page. That's pretty dope. This is my first paycheck I ever got from Google. Even though Google no longer pays me, I'm now with Full Screen Entertainment. Been with them for like a year. And this is my first supplement ad I was ever in. It's with uh, Seth Bryant Labs. Remember Rush? I used to love that stuff. So that was pretty cool. A little blast from the past there. Look at this. This is cute. This is back when Google actually had to accept you as a partner before you could start getting paid and stuff. My first paycheck was a whopping $104. And that was back when I had probably like 2,000 subscribers. <laughs> so, that was cute. I don't even know if my, my videos are probably getting like 1,000, maybe 2,000 views each, maybe. <laughs> so, that was cute. And I only uploaded like once every week, if that. 